In this video, we're going to talk about topic 8.4, finding the area between curves is expressed as a function of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to, find, we're going to ask ourselves, how do we find the area between curves expressed as a function of x? And by the end of the lesson, you're going to be able to say, I can calculate the area between two curves vertically. So with slight modifications, we can change the concept of finding the area of a region under a curve that lies above the x-axis to finding the area of the region between two curves. So remember, whenever we take an integral, what we are really truly doing is we are finding the area between the curve and the x-axis. That's the whole concept of finding an integral. So if I want to change that to finding the area between two curves, what I need to do is take the area of the top curve which is going to get me what's in green there. And then I need to take the area of the bottom curve and I need to subtract this piece away and that will give me this remaining piece here. So really what you're going to do is you're going to do the top curve minus the bottom curve and you're going to integrate it. And these are usually definite integrals. So if f and g are continuous on a to b and g is less than f, so the one curve is smaller than the other for all a and b, then the area of the region bounded by the graphs of f and g in the vertical lines x equals a and x equals b is the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x. So we're going to try this in the first one. It is a good idea to make a, a, a sketch, even if it's a little sloppy sketch. So find the area of the region bounded by the graphs of these guys right here and sketch the graph and shade the region. So my first one is a parabola shifted up to, so I'm just going to draw that, okay. And then I've got the line y equals negative x, which so it's a y-intercept of zero and a slope of down one over one, so it's going to look like this. And then um, I have to go from zero, and then I have zero is a bound, and one is a bound. So the area that I'm actually finding is this area in here. So I always wanna know what's my top curve and what's my bottom curve. So I'm gonna redo this a little bit and color code it a little bit better. So my top curve is the blue one and my bottom curve is kind of the purpley magenta one. Um, so I definitely wanna do, I'm gonna integrate. So I'm integrating. I'm integrating on these bounds right here. They typically will give them to us or we have to calculate points of intersection. So from zero to one of my top curve, which is this x squared plus two, and then we're going to subtract my bottom curve, which is negative x, and of course we put a dx after it. So double negative is gonna go positive. We are gonna calculate all the way. So I'm just gonna integrate it the way it looks right there. I might change the order up as I'm integrating. So when we integrate x squared, we get x cubed over three. When I integrate x, I get x squared over 2. When I integrate 2, I get 2x. I'm going to go from 0 to 1. I'm going to go ahead and plug my 0 and my 1 in. So when I plug 1 cubed in, I get 1 third. When I plug 1 squared in, I get 1 half. And when I plug the 2 in, I just, or the 1 into 2x, I just get 2. I subtract. Whenever I plug the 0 in, I get 0. Technically, if it was free response, I would be done. However, if it was multiple choice, I would probably need to keep going a little bit. Um, so I'm going to get these into sixths. So one-third is the same as two-sixths, one-half is the same as three-sixths, and um, two would be the same as twelve-sixths. So when I add those up, two plus three plus twelve would be seventeen-sixths. 